What's up? Whew. How's it going, guys? That's our topic for today. What? Framing's not right. There, I set it up. Usually something like that. All right. Caribou. It's kind of like my locally brewed Budweiser grocery beer. You find it everywhere. Really popular in Vancouver, actually. It's not that good. But it's brewed local and it's cheap. I buy it. Guys, like I said, this is our topic. Star Wars. If you don't know what that is, it's a clone trooper. The Clone Wars in Star Wars. Ask me Star Wars things. I probably won't know it, but I can certainly Google it. I will find the answer. But what is absolutely amazing that I've got to talk to you guys about, which is why I'm talking about Star Wars, not just because of this. Um, I'm a big Star Wars and costume person. Anyways, I finally convinced my wife to watch Star Wars. She's never seen Star Wars. 30 years old, never seen Star Wars. Not a single movie, nothing. Knows nothing of Star Wars. And she's married to me, a Star Wars fan. I probably watch a Star Wars movie every few months. Like, she hasn't seen it. We've been together for, well, ooh, how long have we been together? We've been together like 14 years and she's never seen a Star Wars movie. But the important thing is, she's watching them now. We started off with A New Hope, which is episode four. We're going into The Empire Strikes Back. We just watched that the other night. She was blown away. She didn't even, okay, oh. Whew. Spoiler alert if you don't know Star Wars, just so you know. She did not know that Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father. Everyone knows that. not actually how the line goes it's actually no I am your father but yeah she's never known known that foreign knowledge to her and I mean before you start thinking like oh my god how could she not know and like that that's terrible no it's not terrible it's amazing she's gone 30 years and finally got to watch this movie and and arguably the biggest cinematic moment in cinematic history she had not had it spoiled she got to at 30 years old Watch this moment, genuine. It was it was pretty amazing. I, I wasn't even watching this, the screen, I was watching her. It was cool. And actually I even filmed it for you guys. So here's her reaction, right now. That was her reaction to finding out that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. Next movie we're going to Return of the Jedi and honestly, she, she, I, I kind of caved telling her a piece of information. She totally called it that Luke and Leia are brother and sister. So she knows that, but going into Return of the Jedi, we're gonna find that out for sure. Although I already spoiled it to her because she asked and like forced me to tell her. Force, you know, the Star Wars, the force, you know, but um, shh. So regardless, She's finally watching Star Wars. She's actually really liking it. And watching her uh, experience that cinematic moment in a genuine moment, not being spoiled, was pretty amazing to see. And I'm really happy I got to be there and help her experience that. And for me, experience her experiencing it. Because it was, it was super cool. But moving on to this. Like I said, this is a clone trooper helmet from the Clone Wars. This is my next costume. I've made costumes for about five years now, I'll go to conventions, I go walk around in costumes. I've even competed in uh, some big time conventions. I've won some major awards, pretty awesome stuff. This is my next costume. I'm gonna be joining what's known as the 501st. If you don't know what the 501st is, here's a really quick rundown. The 501st is a large organization revolving around Star Wars costumes. Now 501st members make their costumes, they apply to be a member of the 501st, and they are either accepted or denied. Their costumes have to be screen accurate to what is in the uh, Star Wars films, which means there are strict guidelines to making your costumes and what it has to look like, down to the very, very minute details. So, oh, excuse me. Whew. 
Need to wash that down. Ooh. So there they have the utmost quality costumes out there. Now, once you are a member of the 501st, what do you do? What's the point of it? 501st actually goes around to local communities. Local communities? Communities. 501st goes around to communities and they do fundraising for local charities. There we go. That's where the local word fits in. They do fundraising for things like children's hospitals, cancer societies, that sort of thing. They wear their costumes, they go out and do what's called a troop. Like they, they show up in their costumes, they'll visit sick kids in the hospital, that sort of thing, raise money and do fundraising in their costume for people who love Star Wars and they bring the community together all based around Star Wars. So people who love Star Wars dress up in the Star Wars and troop helping those who need the help and also love Star Wars. Bringing awesomeness together revolving around Star Wars. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. This guy is going to be my 501st costume. It's going to be a long time before it's up and running though, so don't like push me to get this done. It'll probably be like over a year before it's ready. I've got other projects like my basement anyways that should be taking priority. Let's be honest, they probably won't, but they need to. So it'll be a while before that is approvable for the 501st, but it's going to happen. And I'm super pumped that it's going to be happening. I've been meaning to join the 501st for years now. So it's gonna happen. Oh, seriously, it just the Star Wars ness this week <clears throat> really hits home. Oh, and actually, by the way, in case you didn't know, this this light back here, I've got to show you something. It's not a light. It's not an aperture light. It's nothing to do with photography, videography. It, it's it's a lightsaber, just legit. It's it's a lightsaber. I'm a Star Wars nerd. I told you, okay. silent mode. It just doubles all too well as a nice background light, so I've got it anyways. You can go ahead and purchase one of your own for photography if you want, but I don't suggest it. This this is not a cheap piece of equipment. Anyways, Star Wars is a big part of my life and it's been really coming around this week. We've got the costume, my wife watching Star Wars, the major cinematic moment where she finds out Vader is Luke's father. Oh, it's pretty awesome. Anyways guys, Thanks for joining me for Beer and a Chat. I'm gonna go so I can edit this and get it up for you guys to watch in time for Friday because it is, I'm not wearing a watch. It's it's not Friday yet, it's, it's currently Thursday, but being on the West Coast by the time it's, I'll upload it tomorrow morning for you guys. And then tomorrow morning will be like afternoon for the rest of the world pretty well. It's what happens when you live in the West Coast, you're literally behind the rest of the world. Oh well, Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Cheers.